Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. So after we started the 5 point ROM review system, a lot of you guys have liked that system and uh, since the time I announced that I'm using the Resurrection Remix, a lot of you have been asking where is the review, when will it be out? So well, guess what? The time has come and we are going to review this ROM today. I have my answers which I you know, had the questions about before I share my information with you guys. So in today's video, we will be reviewing a Resurrection Remix for the Pocophone F1. And before we do that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kailash. Let's review Resurrection Remix. Listen. All right guys, so welcome to another video and finally it's time to review this bad boy which is Resurrection Remix. It's an amazing ROM. I have been using it from the days of Cyanogen Mod. Yes, this particular ROM I have a lot of attachment with because while Cyanogen Mod is gone and you know Lineage OS has come, we do have Resurrection Remix in all its glory as it was always. So let's not make this video too long and let's begin with the five point ROM review system. The first point being appearance in aesthetics for this particular ROM which carries a weightage of 20 points and first thing that we're going to talk about is default launcher. Now first things first when you talk about default launcher it's a very very stockish Android Pie launcher and uh, it does give you a lot of granular customization option but what we like over here is the integration of Google Feed which is really really amazing and apart from that if you long press over here you do have an option to go to home settings now let's see what we have over here we have allow edit show google app you can enable or disable that you have grid size you have icon labels in drawer hidden and protected apps change icon shape so that is there and notification dots is something you can enable or disable so out of four points when it comes to the default launcher we will give it a solid three and the next option that we're going to talk about is theme engine which is basically customization so for that we will definitely go to resurrection tools and over here if you see you have status customization you have recents you have lock screen animation so those four sections itself are you know dedicated to customization you can get a dark theme you can get a transparent notification bar and stuff like that so when it comes to customization and theme engine i will give it a solid four out of four and apart from that, if we talk about the next option, which is other customization of this particular ROM, boy oh boy, if I were to go through all of these features one by one, this video would be what, 20, 25 minutes long. But when you talk about things like other customization, you could customize everything guys, like navigation gestures, you can customize the buttons, you can customize the interface, you can even customize the toast animation, the way your status bar looks, the way each and every single animation in this ROM goes can be customized. So for other customization, we will give it a solid four as well. Now the next option which goes for appearance and aesthetics is substratum support. Well, that gets a solid three because these guys have an official team and all the other things as well. So substratum theme engine works perfectly fine as well. So all in all, Overall fit and finish of this ROM, you know, it's up to the mark, it's pretty good, it's amazing is what I would say. So that will get a solid three as well. So while we wrap appearance and aesthetics for Resurrection Remix, we did get a very, very strong and solid 17 out of 20. Now let's move on to the next section, which is stability and performance, which again carries a weightage of 20 points. Now, when it comes to stability and performance of Resurrection Remix, if you can see over here, I'm using two SIM cards and 
Wi-Fi is connected as well and almost both of the SIM cards have full coverage of signal although I do say in a prime location but yes the network connectivity for me has been spot on it's a little bit slower compared to stock MIUI when it comes to you know cellular speeds and Wi-Fi speeds and stuff like that so we will give it a 3 out of 4 which is a very very good score and next up in stability and performance we do have lags okay so when it comes to the user interface, we've not had any lag as such. It is very, very smooth, very, very fluent. The apps launch very, very quickly and very, very smoothly. They do get minimized very, very smoothly as well. And the multitasking as well is amazing. So in terms of lags, we will give it a solid four. Now next up, we move on to something which is very, very important and very, very interesting. That is the gaming performance. You see that I have played PUBG for a good 40 minutes over here. There was a match that I played played yesterday and uh, it's a slightly disappointing scenario over here for Resurrection Remix this is because I did notice quite a few frame drops compared to CR Droid I did notice the game did lag a couple of times all in all even in Asphalt 9 I did have a couple of frame drops so if you want a ROM for out and out gaming I would not suggest this so when it comes to gaming performance this one will get a sort of okay 2 out of 4 next up we move on to benchmark numbers which again is a weak point because of the thermal profile for these custom ROMs but this in particular scored 218,307 even if we were to go to say Geekbench over here 2382 and 7516 single core 2382 and multi core 7516 again we've seen ROMs score north of 10,000 in multi core so if you are someone who likes to brag about benchmark numbers, trust me, this is not the ROM for you guys. For benchmarks, we will just give it a 1 because those are the lowest scores we've ever seen on Pocophone F1. Now next up, we will move on to heating and throttling in which it gets a very, very solid 3 because it doesn't heat up as much, it doesn't throttle as much. I don't know why the game was dropping frames and stuff like that, but while playing it for 40 minutes, I did not no notice any, you know, heating up or stuff like that. So in terms of stability and performance, Resurrection Remix scores 13 out of 20. Now it's not great, it's a mediocre score when it comes to stability and performance. But uh, nonetheless, let's move on to the next section which is the ever interesting camera section. Now over here I have not installed Gcam at all and uh, what I would like to say is this is a very very generic camera application. So what we do with custom ROMs is we give these custom ROMs a very very universal score and that will be the case with almost all the ROMs. So for this ROM as well what we will do is in terms of photo quality we will give it a solid 2, video 2, low light photo will be a 1 low light video will be a one and extra features will be a two as well. So all in all in the camera department, it did score eight out of 20. Let's move on to the important aspect that is battery and charging. First things first, let's check the battery backup. We did have a look at it a while ago. So it says should last at about 7.15 until about 7.15 a.m. Now that's next morning. Right now it's around 11 a.m., 10.50 a.m. and uh, battery manager so that is working that's a pie feature last full charge was 17 hours back screen usage was two hours and 30 minutes we are still trending at 57 percent and the battery is not hot as well and if you have a look it is looking amazing so i easily get about four to five hours of screen on time despite of one hour of casual gaming with PUBG and asphalt 9 and real racing 3. so in terms of uh, battery backup out of 10 we will give this a very very solid eight that's a very, very good score, remember, because that's in the MIUI stock ROM territory. Now, in terms of charging, we will give this ROM a solid 7 as well, because it's very, very close, very, very close to fast charging the way the stock charger does on the stock ROM. So all in all, we will give it a solid 15 when it comes to battery and charging. Now we come to the final verdict over here, the final section that is overall opinions. And in this, we have two sections over here. One of them is bugs. And in terms of bugs, I would still give it a solid 7 over here because I've not experienced any particular bug or anything that would stop me from, you know, using the phone. But the reason I'm giving it 7 is because, well, there was one instance wherein yesterday I was playing Player Unknown's Battleground or PUBG Mobile as you would call it, and the phone just froze and it refused to go back to the recent screen. 
and I had to manually go to settings and you know four stop PUBG and then start playing again. So that is seven and in terms of updates we will give it a solid eight because it keeps getting regular weekly updates. So again in the overall opinion section as well this ROM gets a solid 15. So we have come to the conclusion over here and let's quickly have an overview at the score. Appearance and aesthetics 17 out of 20, stability and performance 13 out of 20, camera 8 out of 20, battery and charging 15 out of 20 and overall 15 out of 20. Now that gives us a total of 68 for Resurrection Remix, yes that's correct, 68 out of 100 and if we talk about the star rating that is two and a half this is the latest build of resurrection remix it did score 68 out of 100 and that's two and a half stars so that's the full review for you guys for resurrection remix if you want it for hardcore gaming it's not a big no-no but sort of and if you want it for features and look good and customization and all the other things well of course you can definitely definitely go for this rom it's an amazing rom maybe future updates or android q version will fix all the small small niggles that we've had with this nonetheless a huge shout out and respect to the developers the link for their thread is mentioned in the description really appreciate your hard work guys just an honest feedback of a rom review for y'all so let me know in the comment section if you like this video guys please like this video because it really really helps us a lot and until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye